And finally, VP of Marketing Colin Shallow wants to get the word out about his favorite spot for a funky, one-of-a-kind dining experience. He says each dish is inventive and thoughtfully prepared, but the ambiance is also unique, and the service is personal, offbeat, and fun. That's what he's come to expect at the Jewel Bistro in Lake Worth Beach. My name is Dak Kerprich, and I'm the owner of Jewel. This was an old Mexican restaurant, and the woman who owned it wanted to leave, so I picked it up. And we've been here for four years, and it's a very interesting neighborhood, to say the least. It's Ninth and Dixie. You can get anything you want on Ninth and Dixie, but it is a destination. This is no holds bar. This is full frontal restaurant. You can walk in and look at something new almost every day. And it's not fake, it's real. Most of this has been donated by customers. Jewel, the most popular dishes are definitely the burger. We're definitely known for the burger. And the local fish. All fish and seafood is caught off the Florida coast. Everything is local. Jewel is anything you want it to be. So tell us what you see when you get there. So you would easily miss it. <laughs> it's just off Dixie Highway. It's a quiet little stretch of Dixie. You park off on a side street. There's no, you know, it's somewhat urban in that sense. And there's just this blue neon sign that says Jewel, which was what Lake Worth was once known as. And that neighborhood's okay. called downtown Jewel. All and right. you walk in and it's just a small room with a small bar, maybe 10 tables, mm -hmm. booths and tables. And I mean, you're greeted by Jay, his brother's the chef owner. Everything about the experience is personal. He gets to know you. It's a weekly menu, it changes. And every dish has a story. That's lovely. So yeah. what did you have this last time? So this time we got the sexy lettuces. That's Ooh. the name of it. <laughs> yes, we got that too. <laughs> you did, did you? That's a great name. Why are they called sex lettuce? I don't know. know. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's salad. simple, right? It's just lettuce. I bet that they get those lettuces somewhere special, though. Oh, there's a well, story. Well, it was definitely farm to table because he did tell me where the lettuces came from. So yeah, it's it was really about the lettuce. Very fresh. So it what was. else did you have other than the sexy lettuces? Grouper. They just brought in that day mm -hmm. from Riviera Beach. He did tell us where. <laughs> <laughs> And it was only a few portions. He could only get one grouper, I guess, that came with a kale and couscous. Yeah, Daniel, I see you nodding a lot. You must have I had grouper it. as well. Same dish. How were funny. you there the same day? Same day. Oh. We were the group Didn't of three. Didn't you see him? He was right behind you. <laughs> you were off to the side. The group of three on to the side. I did see you. Oh, my goodness. You really yes. were there the yeah. same day. Yes, because they don't That's have weird. the fish every day. So if you had grouper, you had to be there the same day yeah. I was there. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. had a piece of fish from the same fish. That's <laughs> amazing. I love that. So did it have a sauce to it other than the kale and the couscous? <clears throat> no. And as okay. a matter of fact, my sister wanted more of the kale and the couscous. And he said, no, it was all portioned out <laughs> for the next grouper. So okay. we couldn't get it. Yeah, you couldn't take Daniel's couscous and <clears throat> nope. kale. See? <laughs> It was for Daniel. <laughs> wow. Did you have anything else? Pizza. Mm -hmm. And the pizza, the oh, mozzarella pizza? cheese, was homemade cheese. Homemade mozzarella. Yep. Yep. How do you oh. make homemade cheese? I, I guess we're too modern, but <laughs> it was amazing. And then I wanted to try the burger, and I asked him, would it taste okay the next day? And he said, yes. I said, pack it up. <clears> it didn't make it the next day. We sliced that up. <laughs> it was you had it all. amazing. And you had the burger as well, right? So his brother makes it on a cast iron pan that I think he's had for like decades. So it's well seasoned. Well seasoned, and they use uh, beef tallow. Uh -huh. And it's do it's they really? Pretty yeah. simple, otherwise. And um, I, I think them. it's one of the best burgers I've ever had. But it's crispy. Yeah. On the outside. Well, the cast it's because iron. of the tallow. So Much what respect. did you have, Daniel? Pizza, plain. Okay. With the homemade cheese, the organic okay. flour. Mm -hmm. really, really good. good. The grouper, as we said, and. Um, I had something that was very unique there, strombano. You familiar with a stromboli? Yes. Okay. And they lay out a Cuban sandwich, and they roll it, and they bake it into a strombano. Wow. That's it's hilarious. It's a Cuban For sandwich a meets a stromboli. That is so creative. They slice it on the angle. It was delicious. 
Tell me a little bit about the decor. They have pizza boxes all over the place with their names on it. And then the bathroom, they have markers so you could write on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it there. That was very interesting. What did you think of prices, Travel? I think the prices was actually reasonable, especially for the quality of the food. And I think that speaks to it. The flavors just danced in your mouth, if mm -hmm. I could just say that. Colin, tell me a little bit about the shrimp dish. It was called the brown shrimp cocktail, certain kind of shrimp. He, oh, he, brown shrimp, sure, he, it's okay. gulf shrimp, yeah. Gulf, gulf shrimp, shrimp, yeah. And it had chunks of avocado and chunks of shrimp throughout, and then one big. It's called a Mexican shrimp cocktail, it's the best. It's so good, and they gave you saltines for it, which. Which is traditional. Yeah, they do have a sandwich. I think it's called a red shrimp salad sandwich. That's one of their best dishes, and they don't always have it. You've got to get that. That sounds delicious. And they make their own bread. Everything's baked My goodness, there. what don't these people do? They make their own cheese, they make their own bread. What's next? And then with dessert, we ordered the tres leches, which is my favorite dessert when it's done right. Also? Yeah, it was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It was delicious. Oh. I think it's the chef's wife that does all the baking. And we should tell everyone that it's cash only, correct? Cash, cash only. only. They do have an ATM. Well, Colin, Joel Bistro is your pick. <clears throat> Sum I'm, it up for me. Yeah. Every Part of your experience, I think, is personal, from the service to the environment to the food. Travel. The flavors of this restaurant, the food just dance in your mouth. It's very, very good. I, I told all my family, we have to go back. Daniel? Family owned, family operated. I think everything's made with love and it's organic and local. If you're on the hunt for a culinary treasure, you just may find it at Jewel Bistro, located at 830 North Dixie Highway in Lake Worth Beach. Open for dinner Wednesday through Saturday. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $45.